Hey, this is Section 8 and J, and I wanted to share some information with you. Um, the average renter, the average renter really did horrible during the pandemic. Um, I'm a landlord, and I can tell you, I, I talked to a lot of other landlords, and a lot of landlords got screwed by the average renter. The average renter. Um, what's about to start happening? is a lot of average um, renters are going to be looked at as unreliable where section 8 clients are going to be looked at as more reliable this shift is coming this shift is coming a lot of landlords got screwed during the pandemic all right a lot got screwed during the pandemic because of the moratorium so a lot of average renters didn't pay their rent they just didn't pay it. And so landlords got screwed. All right, like landlords here. Landlords lost. I'll say that. Landlords lost. So what landlords are starting to do, and I've been talking to several landlords, they're starting to move away from the average renter and move towards the Section 8 uh, client, Section 8 tenant. This shift is happening. It's happening now as we speak that uh, landlords are seeing Section 8 clients as more reliable and they're looking at the average renter as less reliable. All right, so landlords are moving away, they're shifting away from the average renters. This big shift happening, it's happening now. All right, and this shift away from the average renter is because a lot of landlords lost money by dealing with the average renter during the pandemic a lot. And so I've been talking to a lot of landlords and they're shifting away from the average renter and going towards the, uh, the Section 8 client. All right, because the Section 8 client gets money from the government, money from the government. And landlords see that money as more reliable. And they don't see the average renter as reliable anymore. They're really angry with the average renter. All right, landlords are really angry with the average renter. Anger, <laughs> all right? And so they're moving, they're shifting away from the average renter and moving towards the Section 8 clients because that's more reliable money um, from the government. Even if the Section 8 client has to pay a balance, you know, because a, a voucher will cover most of a Section 8 uh, uh, tenants writ and the section 8 tenant will only have a little bit more money to pay to, to cover the balance and so that's usually easy to do because it's not that much money and so the section 8 clients are looked at as more reliable now so this shift is happening right now as we speak you're going to see a lot of average renters having a hard time finding a place and you'll see more section 8 clients having an easier time finding a place so this shift is this is happening all right landlords are very angry at and very disappointed and you know they just don't trust the average renter anymore so the whole market has shift the whole rental market has shift rental market the whole rental market is shifting now as we speak all right and so section 8 is, is going to become um, even more valuable because the Section 8 client will be looked at as more reliable. All right, more reliable. And I have this information from uh, several landlords that I know. All right, and so look out for the shift here. Look out for the shift because it's happening. All right, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and um. Look out for more videos. I'm going to be putting putting out more videos on Section 8 and how to get approved for Section 8 and um, how to find available Section 8 housing. And um, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace.